Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakadash. As the name of the Heavenly Father, the name of His only begotten Son, who in the world in me calls uh, God and Jesus Christ in the name of the Holy Spirit. We want to give double honors to the elders, the apostles, the GMS, the great millstone, the Ruel. Peace, love, and salutations to the Bayaf, the Awadah, the House of David. As the uh, portion of the GMS Boston can't come again with our weekly address. And uh, Lord willing, it's edifying, you know. And, um, you know, we don't have nothing that we're going to go into. You know, the Passover is is coming up. And um, it's, it's, we're still considering, we're still here in, um, in Babylon, right? In New Egypt. You know, the, the scriptures talk about the Lord um, delivering us. I get the tape real second quick. Urges. Second urges, yep. Chapter 15. Mm, yep. Uh, you want to straight to the point? Yeah, or? get right to the point real quick. Go on. I got uh, Second Ezra, uh, chapter fifteen, verse uh, verse seven. Therefore said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Salaki. I, I drop down to verse ten. Salaki. Uh, Second Ezra, fifteen, verse ten. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Yeah, the Lord's people are you so called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics. If you're lying, look back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You and me make up the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. And this is who this word primarily is, is addressed to the cream of the crop, the elect, all right, of the nation of Israel. And, and, and really, all of us, you know, are, are, are being led to the slaughter, you know, and, 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 and what we do in this works is, is for hopes for what? For salvation, deliverance, to be delivered out of the destruction that is to come. But the Lord said he was going to bring Egypt, he's going to bring plagues upon Egypt as before. So we know the before was uh, ancient Egypt, which was over there in the Middle East, all right, in the uh, northern tip of, of Africa. Now, when you go into what John the Revelator wrote about in uh, the book of Revelations, the 11th chapter, yeah. he compared America, he said it was spiritually Sodom and Egypt. It wasn't physically uh, Sodom and Egypt because it's physically the geographical location is where? Over here in the Middle East. But it was spiritually because it took on the same vibration. When you break down that word spirit, that's what it is. America had the same vibration as Egypt. What? The children, the, we're in the land of our captivity, right? This is where we, we serve hardcore bondage. You see uh, gays and lesbianism and transgenderism being pushed heavily throughout America. So it took on those spiritual attributes. But the Lord is going to deliver us, right? Again, uh, I think it's in, uh, he said, I'm going to stretch out my hand. That's in Jeremiah chapter 16. Go ahead, bro. Jeremiah 16 verse 14. Therefore, behold, the day is come, said the Lord, that it shall no more be said, do not live if the blood of the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but the Lord Yahweh leadeth the blood of the children of Israel from the land of the north. So again, in Second Ezra the fifteen chapter, it talks about him delivering uh, the children of Israel and smite Egypt with plagues as before, signifying that it's not talking about ancient Egypt, but it's talking about a new Egypt, a modern Egypt, which is America is what is modern Egypt. That's why you look on the back of your dollar bill, you see a pyramid with the all-seeing eye on top. That's symbolic. That, that that's a, a spiritual clue that the Most High gave us. So that we can be able to identify mystery Babylon, right? Mystery goes into what something that's hidden, that's no longer hidden, it's out there. I was talking to um, this guy I used to work with when I was doing security. And um, I said to him, um, in, in regards to all the symbolism that America has, to, has adopted, and um, he said that it used to be, you know, basically the sentiment was it was righteous when it was in Africa, but then when America adopted it, they made it wicked. And I was like, you know, we always say that, but why can't we say that it was wicked when it started? Mm -hmm. Right? Why can't we why can't we say when the when the so-called Africans or the Hamites, when they used it, they were using it on the left hand side. Whatever that wisdom was, whatever that knowledge was that they had, mm -hmm. they were using something on the left hand side. And why can't we say that America understands that they were using left hand side uh, wisdom? And they used it for their benefit. Why can't we say that? Yep. Right? Because that's what they were doing. When you look at the Babylonians uh, by way of the Chaldeans, mm -hmm. when you look at Egypt, when you look at all of these other nations um, before America, America adopted uh, those same things. Yep. Right? And they perpetuated whatever that left hand magic was on all our people. Right? 
Um, where was that scripture? Uh, ye are your, your father, the devil. Um, John, John, is that John? Is that John? 44, 44. Yep. Hit me with that, please. Yep. John eight and verse forty-four. Yeah. And it reads, uh, "Ye are of your father, the devil." Yeah, and the stock you, bro. Start at forty-two. All right. Because it gets like you know. All right. This is John eight and forty-two. Yahweh shall said unto them, "If the Most High were your father, you would love me." Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And this. And this. It, this is, it speaks volumes to what this country is. They always say that they're a God-fearing nation, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you got Baptists and, and Christians all over the country talking about how they love God, right? But like it says, read it again. Uh, John 8 and 42, Yahweh shall said unto them, if the Most High were your father, you yep. would love me. Right, if, if the Most High were your father, you would love the Lord. And to love the Lord is to do what he said. Mm -hmm. not, to, not to love him in word, but indeed, as the scriptures say, mm -hmm. it says, "For I, for I proceeded forth and came from the Most High. Right. Neither came I of myself, but He sent me. Right. Why do you um, not understand my speech? Right. And 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 we, we're the extension of that. Right. The Lord Yahweh Shai had a speech. He had a lesson that He taught when He was here. Mm -hmm. And we, the men of the Lord, in, in today's day and time, are the extension of that. Right. Mm -hmm. So if if they were of the Most High." They were of the Father. If they love the Father, then they would love us. That's right. right? Even because ye cannot hear my word. Right. Ye are of your father, the devil, right. and the lust of your father, if you will do. Right, and the lust of your father, you will do. And this is, this is, this is speaking to Israel, right? But the America has taken on that 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 sentiment as a whole, where they're practicing all the things of their fathers before them, right? right? And what they added to it in this time was uh, secret, secret, secretism, if you will. Secrecy, yep. Secrecy yep. if you will. Yep. I, yeah. I got that for you too. Yeah. Right? Uh, Revelation chapter 17, verse 3. Yeah. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, mm -hmm. and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast yeah. full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. Right. And the woman was arrayed in purple yep. and, and a scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, sure. having a golden cup. In her hand, mm -hmm. full of abominations and filthiness of a fornication, yes, and upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon right. the Great, the mother of harlots right. and the abominations of the earth. Right, and and it says mystery. Right, why is it a mystery? Because when you look into the scriptures, it doesn't say America, right? And I think that um, I, I'm, I'm sure that that the the message was there's going to be a nation. Right, this whore that was being described here, this woman yep. that was being described here, that no one, no one would necessarily make the connection between what the prophecy said and what this place is. Right, right. That's the mystery. Right, right. The mystery is a place as significant as America would be talked about, but no one would know that that it was indeed America. Right, right? no one would would put those those links together. To say, oh shit, that's that's talking about America, right, right. and the things that were uh, revealing to me was Revelation eighteen, uh, Revel uh, not Revelation, but Isaiah thirteen, yep. mm -hmm. um, Jeremiah fifty, Jeremiah fifty one, Obadiah. Obadiah. All of those things were revealing to me because you have to ask yourself the questions: uh, what fits these characteristics, right? right? That's because great. that's the when you when you when you talk about I salve. Those are the things that connect prophecy with current event, mm -hmm. right? Those 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 subtle nuances connect what prophecy said about the the, the nations of today. Oh, yeah. I you know? yeah. um, if I may add, yeah. you know, um, it's, it's good that you said that, um, Elder. And what does confirm, um, you know, what we believe is that every empire that has come before has been talked about in the For scriptures. Sure. Sure. So what 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 would make America so special as not to be right. uh, uh, described? It would make it insignificant. Insignificant. And if you look at the picture of the right. world today, America is not insignificant. Right. right. It's so it's, it's very important, yeah. right? It's yeah. very it's very legitimate yeah. in yeah. what it is uh, in relation to the rest of the world. Yeah. Yeah. So if it if it is okay. that serious, yes. right? right? If it is that significant, right. then that means the prophecy had was spoken about yeah. it too. Can I read this real quick? For sure. Uh, Amos chapter three verse seven. Surely the Lord power will do nothing mm -hmm. but reveal his secrets mm -hmm. unto his servants the prophets. Sure. Ahead, and it's, uh, uh, that's true what that says because in this time you can read 
Proverbs 1 and 5, it says a wise man will head and will yeah. increase in learning. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. Right. The understanding proverb in the interpretation of the words <laughs> of the wise and their dark saying. That's right. So when you wrap that all together, you know, the destruction of Babylon the Great and the destruction of these empires that were forth, you know, when you wrap it all together, it's a dark saying to these people that don't understand. Right. Meaning that they, they have to have a source of light to see. Right. You know, and that's the eye that you were Correct. talking about. Correct. Right. And also, if I mention too, going yeah, back absolutely. to what we mentioned about secrecy, there's still uh, tokens left that people still can't comprehend or connect to the ancient uh, yeah. empires, yeah. 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 such yeah. as the evil mm -hmm. and all those things. The dollar, yeah, yeah. yeah. And all those so, things, yeah. Mm -hmm. So and that's yeah. why they said the mysteries is given to service the prophets, because we identify, we know by way of the scriptures mm -hmm. what, what is what and who is who. Yeah, uh, right. If I may, right. I want to read this definition of proverbs, sure. right? Um, and that's beautiful, right? Hey, Tazia. You actually read Proverbs one and one, oh, because oh, because right. because and, and read up until that point because yeah. it's beautiful that you know you you brought that up because the scriptures we talk about Proverbs we talk about metaphors we talk about dark sayings um, parables. mysteries parables right yes. and and then when you look at the think of the you consider the book of Proverbs that's such a book filled with so much wisdom yes, but sure. in the beginning it lays out the, the mind frame like you know to uh, to somebody that I'm dealing with you know that's when I receive this wisdom. You got to understand these dark sayings, these breakdowns, these yeah. proverbs, these proverbs, you know what I'm saying? So let me read this definition real quick, um, because it's what we're going to, what, Mystery Babylon, and the deliverance of us today being delivered from out of this place as compo uh, compared and comp uh, to what's been happening already in the past. Right. Because somebody will read that and be like... Well, and most get, Christians read it. Yeah, they'll, they'll read that and get confused, mm -hmm. you know, with, with uh, they'll confuse modern Egypt with ancient Egypt, ancient. you know? Mm -hmm. right. Um, so this is uh, the definition of proverb, right? It says, uh, uh, what's that, pity? A short, uh, piety. I'm going to look that up too. Yep. A, a short piety saying in general use, stating a general truth or a piece of advice. Mm -hmm. So then it has um, here a saying, an edge, a motto, a precept, mm -hmm. um, a slogan, words of wisdom, yep. right? watchword. And that's, that's, that's our, our wisdom has always been rooted in that. Simple, concise sayings that that, that speak volumes. That's what piety means. Yep. Yeah. 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 Uh, language or style concise and forceful yeah. expression. Yeah. Expression. Yeah. Yeah. Forceful. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And that's and that's what our that's what wisdom of Israel has been. And this is why it was so difficult when you read the prologue of Sirach. It was so difficult for them to translate because other nations and and cultures and, and languages were so wordy in the yeah. things that they said. So they were trying to condense. Uh, what was said in these uh, these other uh, in our language, or or to expand what was said in our language into these other languages. Uh, even today, the, the the way we speak, you know, we say, um, you know, if we're making money, we say bread. Right. You know, we're making bread. We, you know, Israel, it's Israel, slang. right? Slang. Israel right. always articulated. There's always a metaphor. A metaphor. Yeah. 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 Right. The most high is self-spoken metaphor. Right. And this is this is the proof of this is the yeah, proof of. Right. of who did, who did, who Israel is That's right. right because we 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 I, I had a I had um I had trouble in school as a kid and not because I was stupid but I, if I if I couldn't develop a, an analogy mm -hmm. to understand what a teacher was was showing me then I, I wasn't gonna get it and uh, I, I used to get into it with my oldest son's mother all the time because I would when I was explaining something to her I would explain it in Explain it in an analogy, and she's like, "Why are you always gotta explain shit to me? I, I know what you're saying." And I say, like, "It's not. It's nothing personal. But if I can't create an analogy for what I'm saying, then I don't understand." It. Right. Yeah. Right. And that was just a way that I, I thought, and this is what proves that we're the Israelites. Because if you look, if you read the scriptures, metaphors, analogies. similes, yes, analogies are are written all throughout the Bible. Yeah. Allegories. The yeah. whole Genesis. The whole revelations are all allegories. Yeah, yeah right. this is um, right. the definition of an analogy: mm -hmm. um, a comparison between two things, yep. typically for the purpose of explanation or, or clarification. Great. Mm -hmm. And when you look at Revelation, when it says the whore that sitteth on the beast, what nation is uh, over everything? Uh, not over everything, but uh, acting. Like a whore would act, right? What what nation is acting the way a whore would act? Spreading herself to every nation, 
always in somebody else's yep. business like a tattler, yep. 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 right? Yep. What what nation is acting like that but America? Yep. And that's the connection, right? Mm -hmm. That's the connection between um, what prophecy says mm -hmm. and what's going on today. And this is why people don't understand it because the Lord gave it to us to understand that oh. that, that, that that simile. Okay. Yeah. Real quick, bro. Um, this is Matthew chapter 13, yeah. verse 10. Yeah, it's just yeah. 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 Um, Go ahead, you got nine? Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, come yeah, on. Matthew 13, it. verse 9. Who have ears to hear, let him hear. Yeah. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto, unto them, them in parables? parables? He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Yeah, that's it. I got, I got a quick one to back him up. Go ahead, bro. This is Psalm 78, and we we'll start at verse 1. It says, Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, that's it. which we have heard and known, and our fathers right. have told us. Right. So it's coded. Everything that's written in the scriptures is coded, and it was that's only going to be a certain group of people. What's that? No, no, no. I say that's the, 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 the heaviness of yeah, the yeah, scripture. It's, 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 it's we like we have heard and learned, mm. and our forefathers, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, told go back to Proverbs 1, it's, it's going to complete uh, pretty much what you about to say. It's like, 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 the yeah. fact that, and then you think, like, damn, when you read the New Testament, Yahweh Shah was constantly quoting out of the Old Testament. Yeah, because the Old Testament was in itself as a whole an allegory to the Lord Yahweh Shah. Yep. Right? When you think about. Uh, the story of David and his men eating the showbread, yep. right? Mm -hmm. That was to show oh, right, right. what mercy is, mm -hmm. what grace is, right? There were, there were all of these stories and allegor or, or, or all these stories were allegories to what would happen later on. That's right. Same thing when you when you go into um, Abraham and his his two sons Isaac and Ishmael. It was an allegory to what would happen to Israel that stayed in the land and the Israelite foreigners. Mm -hmm. So those Old Testament things. Are allegorical to what we live and experience today um, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Yahweh I got one more. This is yep. verse 4. It says, We will not hide them from their children, mm. showing to the showing to the generation to come praises of the Lord mm -hmm. and his strength and his wonderful works that he had done. Mm -hmm. That's it. And we understand those works and we see those works, right? Mm -hmm. So this is how we understand what America is and, and who America is, right? Mm -hmm. And as it says in these scriptures, uh, being Egypt and being Babylon and being the Chaldeans, that same wicked magic that they use in those ancient times is being used today to cast spells on yeah. our people. Yeah. So when you see things like uh, ISUPK and IUIC uh, fighting against each other for a block, that is, that's nothing more than Esau and his ways, right? Matter of fact, let's go to Habakkuk. The second chapter. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I know I'm, I'm switching gears a little bit, but let's go to Habakkuk the second chapter really quick. Um, start at uh, five. Start at five for me. Uh, Habakkuk two verse five. Right. Yeah. Also, because he transgresses by wine. Right. He is a proud man. Yep. <coughs> so I can neither keep her keep it at home. Right. Who enlarges his desires? Who enlarges as his desires as hell? So what does Esau do? Esau goes around. His characteristic <laughs> is. To go around and take over different lands. Yep. Plant his flag. Yep. This is my land. Yep. If you want to use this land, you got to come through me. Yep. And that's the same spirit that IUIC and ISUPK was in. Yep. This is our block. Yeah. This is the, we, we was here first. They sound like a bunch of uh, mm -hmm. elementary gang school bangers. kids. Yep. Oh, like, uh, right? Like Gangbangers, gang which also yeah. sound like elementary school yeah. kids. Yeah. <laughs> right? they, they, they were arguing over a street corner. That belongs Esau. to Esau, yeah. right? Jeffer Jefferson Street yeah. came from a guy named Jefferson who was an Edomite who had slaves, yeah. right? You know, or or or, or ape, right. you know, uh, right. what's this uh, from the movie said it all? He ain't even from Acorn. <laughs> you know, Acorn, Acorn Projects Project was from a guy. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like these are these are these things that Jake claims are all from men, America, yeah. Africa. Yeah. These are all things that that were were named after men, and that 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 showing is a is a, is a cardinal showing. Hey, but it's a, it's a, it, what it what it is is uh, indicative of the massive amount of spell that's on Jake. Because even being an Israelite and supposedly escaping out of um, that spell, right? Being an Israelite, you still acting like a nigga. Yeah. 
You're still carrying those uh, niggardly ways mm -hmm. into the truth, man. Mm -hmm. Because the, the, real, the real thing to do is if, if we see somebody from another camp, um, matter of fact, here in Boston, um, in Mattapan, um, you, you do have IUIC teaching on one of the corners we used to teach on. Right? When they're down there uh, in Mattapan, uh, down by the Sovereign Bank, that was our corner. That was the first corner we came on, man. The very first corner we opened on, and now they're down there, right? Do we go down there and say, nah, this is our block. We was here first. No, we, we let them teach because at the end of the day, you can't do anything against the truth. You only can do things for it, right? And if you're teaching so-called Negroes, West Indians, Levi's all, <laughs> all through Mattapan, mm -hmm. right? If, you, if you're teaching them that they're Israelites, then that's a good thing. We got to we got to sometimes look past uh the the contention between the groups cuz I I'm, I'm not saying it's going to end it's never going to end right but we sometimes have to look past it and look like look they on that corner they was they set up they set up first today boom let's get out of here let's go to another block let's go a couple blocks down or let's go to the other side of town Boston is a is a big city man there are a lot of places where there's a mix of different people that pass through different areas right we're not, as a matter of fact, we're not that far from where we used to teach. As if you go, you go this way. If you go this way, we we right we right down the street from where we used to speak. Yep. And we we don't we don't we don't bother them, right? We don't we don't do any of that. And if and there was a question asked, what what, what would happen if that happened to your camp? You let them do what they do. You put it on camera. You film it. <coughs> say you know look, they, these guys over here. We normally take this corner, but they wanted to come in. Because really what Jake is doing, they're expressing their insecurities. We talked about this a little bit earlier. They're expressing their insecurities by, with that bravado, taking, oh, I'm, I'm taking over the block. You ain't, you ain't doing shit. And you sound like a fucking monkey. That's what you sound like. A nigga from the neighborhood. We're supposed to be growing up out of those things. The scriptures tell us uh, to put off the old men. Right? It tells us Whatever we did in the world, whatever whatever way we were thinking in the world, whatever mentality we had in the world, to put those things off of us. But y'all are y'all are trying to merge the two, and it and you look you look messy, you look messy, and then you get mad when we say something about you, but you keep acting like assholes, man. No matter no matter how far along we go, even when we try to. Pull back as as GMS. We try to take a step back and just teach the word and and get off you niggas. You keep doing stupid shit that make Israel look look like idiots, man. You you validate what Esau feels about our people, man. You validate it. Mm, that's right. You validate it. Mm. And and at the end of the day, you you could easily say, well, well, fuck what Esau thinks. But when you when you're when you're giving credence to what they think about us. That's the wrong thing to do. Right. The scriptures tell us to be blameless to them that are without. That's right. Right? right? Be peaceful with all be men. Be peaceful, if, if at all possibly, live live peaceably with all men, man. Right. So to stay from all evil. Right, right. But you, but you, because at the end of the day, with Israelites, do you, do you realize who the enemy is? Right? Do you, do you understand what Esau is doing to our people? And you're perpetuating it, you know? But may I... Um, you know that you know you getting into that that's to, from them it's not very Israelite like because if you take a look at Gat for example, you know when when whenever you know people came to uh, any specific land of God they understood that the land doesn't belong to them but it belongs to the Heavenly Father. Correct. So they would let them you know do their yeah, thing there or claim you know it wasn't like a dispute of like that's not our that's not our custom that's not our culture. You know, you, you you you're free to roam around and and, and um you know pretty much yeah. set up shop wherever it is that that, that, that you can as long as you're not yeah. as long as you're not meddling with with other men and you right. know kicking them out. You know right. what I'm saying? That that is the Israelite way. You know, going in going into uh, what you said, elder. You know, any other way is a Esau. Right. And, yeah, and, and, if you're, Esau. and if you're teaching a word, mm -hmm. teach the word. Right. Y'all on the same team in that case? Yeah, at least you should be. I got a quick one. Right. I got, I got yeah. this right here. Yeah, this is Luke 9, uh, I'll start at uh, 46, 9 46. 
said, Then there arose a reasoning among them which of them should be greatest. And Yahweh mm. shall perceiving the thought of the mm. heart, their heart, mm. took a child and set them by him, yeah. and said unto them, Whosoever shall receive this child in my name receiveth me, and whosoever shall receive me receiveth him that sent me. For he that is least among you all, right. the same shall be great. Right. This and this speaks to humility, mm -hmm. right? Being being humble, not 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 pretentiously, right? Actually being humble, mm -hmm. right? Actually being someone who has a level of humility and say, oh, well, if they on that block, leave them be, right? But there's this jostling for position, <laughs> for who's the top camp? But it's GMS, y'all might as well, <laughs> y'all might as well, yeah, y'all fight for second place, man. Leave it alone yeah. and just just yeah. teach the word. And right? it's because it's because of the spirit. Mm. It's because of nothing else. Yeah, it's it's because point. of the Holy Spirit right. is dealing with Elder Apostle Tahar, just right. like he dealt with Moses. Right. And after Moses died, he dealt with Joshua. Just like he dealt with King David, just like he dealt with all the other righteous, he dealt with Paul. His spirit is dwelling heavy on Elder Apostle Tahar on down, and it's trickled down to the men, and we follow the correct doctrine, the 100% truth, and we swayed not from it. We didn't give a damn if you didn't like it, if you felt uncomfortable, if it was going to rape, if it was going to the destruction of the so-called white man, whatever it was, if it was the truth, GMS kicked it, and that's the reason why. That's what separates us from you guys. I got, I got On the more. comment board, we, 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 we mentioned um, something about gangbanging. If you watch that video uh, from Elder Apostle Gabar that he just did, um, when it, when it, in regards to gang banging, uh, somebody left on a comment in response to a GMS camp, but y'all y'all teach rape in the kingdom. Y'all actually teach that, right? As though saying that makes what you did a little less bad, right? And when you, one thing Jake got to learn is how to be accountable for what they what they did. Yeah. Instead of being tit for tat, you know, if somebody say, "Look, you did this." You don't think of something in your mind yeah. that they did wrong. That's a woman. That's what a yeah. woman would do. Yeah, well, you did this. Right. What, are you, what, are you, what are you talking about, bitch? I don't even remember that. Yeah. Maybe take two years ago? Yeah, yeah. taking account of something that you did in the past. That doesn't make your infraction any less. Yeah. It's still there. That's your right. infraction is still there. Yeah. And are you going to address your infraction? Con, I got right. what you called for, too. Yeah, yep. yep. Um, so this is 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it says... Uh, for the weapons of all warfare are not carnal, right. but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. Right, right, right. If, for those of you who are living a, a a carnal lifestyle, you're living in the wrong way, man. The, all of these blocks from from Maine to L.A. <laughs> all the way down they, they all belong to Esau. They be given to the hands of the wicked. Yeah, you yeah. you you fighting for a block? It's not your block, Joe dummy. Twenty four. It's not your block. It's those these blocks belong to, to yeah, Esau, said, man. Said, this this block belongs to Commanding General Johannes. Don't he? Don't you? Don't ain't there a level of work you got to do on a block before somebody? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't seen yeah, Johannes yeah, on the yeah, highways yeah, and byways in years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the hood, you can't. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, I mean, you, yeah, you got to put in work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, as, as they say. <laughs> right, right. So I get. No, it's fine. Um, um, I have a precept about the pride in these men. This is the mm. Matthew twenty three and twelve. It says, "Whoever so." Shall exalt himself shall be abased. Right. And he that shall humble himself right. shall be exalted. Right. But you, you, you commander in chief, General Yahan. Mm -hmm. One one thing, one thing I learned. I'm, I've never been in, I've never been at war, and I've never been a street kid. I, I've always been a square, if you will. Right. But one thing I have learned is that you're more inclined to follow someone who's actually getting their hands dirty. Right. You can't be a commander in chief. You sitting on the sideline. Yeah. King David you, you, was leading the charge. Correct. Yeah. King David yeah. fought. He's easy to follow. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. fought in battles, right? Maybe when he got a little older, he, he you know he, he stopped. But Fall that's back. that's what men do when they get of age and they can't um, fight as as vehemently as they did yeah. as a young man. They they take a step back. But with this truth, it's not physical. It's not a physical, physically grueling work that we're doing. Going the highways and byways and teach the word. Right. Um, yeah, Eliezer got his knife whip. He right. led by example. Right. And then that raised up Judas. And Judas, they led by example. They right. wasn't right. calling shots from, you know, right. Right. some office somewhere. Commander. Right. Commander. Right. If, you, all right, if you want to take that title, do the work, man. Right. Do the work. You see the spirit that's on Apostle Tahar? You can't keep up with him. 
No he's constantly way. uploading videos. So, he so he's leading by example. He's yeah. not telling. He's out there on the highways in Bible. Yeah. Week in and week out. Freezing cold, pouring rain, blazing hot. He's yeah. leading by example. Yeah. 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 Here's, here's my, the, the thing, I, the big dispute is that if you read the scriptures, you know that it says a man's goings is of the Lord. How can a man understand his ways, mm -hmm. right? So if you technically set up at a corner, it's ultimately the decision of the Heavenly Father to bring the right person, the right people. Because the elect is, is, a, is a select group of people. You know what I'm saying? So if you're in a, in a, in a corner, you know, a, a that doesn't necessarily mean that a member of the elect will even ever go by there. You know, as opposed to if you're in another corner, if you're in another corner, then the, the Lord will bring that elect men to that other corner where you teach. So it doesn't matter if I go to teach in a goddamn desert. You know, if it's the Heavenly Father's, if it's the Heavenly Father's will for a member of the hopeful elect to go by and, and he gets sealed and do the work, guess what? I won. You know what I'm saying? I won. So at the end of the day, if, if even if you make it a competition, you, you, this competition is not of our will. It's not of our power. This is of the heavenly, the heavenly Father's power. You know, so it, it's just this uh, 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 to say that 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 you know you 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 own this corner and this and that and the third to the Heavenly Father's work. That's that that is is futile. It's futile for mm -hmm. His work. That's not what the yes, word requires. It's futile. Uh, real quick, uh, Jeremiah chapter five verse thirteen. Mm -hmm. In the prophet show, uh, 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 not even, go ahead. Um, I'm going to finish the song in the book of Matthew 23 and 13. It says, But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, mm -hmm. hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. Mm -hmm. For ye need to go in yourselves, mm -hmm. need to suffer ye them that are entering to right, go That's ahead. being a hypocrite, man. You, you claiming to be a leader. You know, you cl you claiming to, to tell your soldiers to do something that you ain't doing. That's being a hypocrite. Yeah, he said, yeah. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this, I found it. This Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 9. Uh, then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus saith the Lord power, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Prophesy to the wind if you had to, man. And sometimes you do. Yeah. I've seen brothers upload videos and literally get zero and see zero views on the video. Right. What if, if that if that if that word didn't get into the ears of a specific brother, guess what? The Holy Spirit caught it. And that vibration is pushed out, which is way more right. important than anything else, man. And, and, and also, your your duty was fulfilled, man. Mm -hmm. The duty of men is to serve the Heavenly Father. Right. You, you you can't ask any questions about it, man. We're not we, we are soldiers. Oh, yeah. We're soldiers. So at the end of the day, what's more important to me is that I'm when the Heavenly Father gives me account for what I did, I can say, look, you know, to the Lord, I said, I I, I you gave me this talent, you know, and I put it to work, and I and I did this, and here's my works to show my faith. Right. That's what's more important. It's not important. Uh, 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 yes, it's important who gets you know to seal the elect, but, but it's up to you. You've done your part. You've done your part. You've done your part. Right. You've done your part. Uh, this yeah. is Ezekiel chapter yeah. uh, two, verse five. And and they whether they hear or whether they oh, forbear, for they are all rebellious house. Yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. So right. it ain't really up to you whether they're gonna. This, it's up to you to prophesy. Right. Like we told Jeremiah from the beginning. Jeremiah was like, look, I can't preach. He said, don't worry about it. You're going to do and say what I sent you to do. As far as who's, who's going to receive it, that's coming up to me. Right. I'm the, you you plant out. Uh, so the most high gives the increase. It gives the increase. Right. So it's not up to you. It's up to you to prophesy and let right. the most high do what he do. Right. If you guys are over here, that's fine. We're going to go down here. And right. we're going to preach this word. Right. And we're going we're gonna to continue and let, on. And, right. and, let, and let what the Lord decides prevail. Right, exactly. Uh, Ryan, let the Lord's will but, be but that goes to show you that they don't read, you know, they, they, they do little reading of the scriptures, man. They err not knowing the scriptures. It, it's, yep. it, it, it's through all, it's throughout throughout the scriptures. It tells you that this is not a, 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 about you. This is not about men. This is about the will that even the Lord Yahweh Shah said it. He said, let, let, let not as I will, Father, but as the Heavenly Father will. Because it's all, this is all his show. This is all his movie. I got you know, one. this is Titus 1 and 7. It says, For a bishop must be blameless mm -hmm. as the steward of the Most High, mm -hmm. not self willed, mm -hmm. not soon mm -hmm. angry, mm -hmm. not given to wine, nor striking, right. not given to not given to filthy lucre, right. but but a lover of hospitality, a lover of good right. men, sober, right. just, right. holy, temperate. Right. You know what I learned? Jake, Jake doesn't know how to be uh, diplomatic. Mm. They, they feel as though they're losing something. Um, when they have a level of diplomacy, right, or the level of humility when they're when they're uh, expressing a disagreement, um, uh, 
disagreement and, and aggression are two different things. We can, can disagree, but we don't gotta get physical. Right, right. right. And, and we're, we all we all disagree with each other. Each camp disagrees with the doctrine, but that doesn't mean we have to be aggressive. And and Jake hasn't learned how to be uh, diplomatic in their disagreements. Mm -hmm. We've been re we've been removed far from that. We 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 treat. Uh, disagreements the way Esau does with aggression. Right. You don't listen to what I say, I'm, I'm gonna bomb. kill you. I'm bomb. Yeah, right, yeah. right. And that's not a that's not the Israelite way, that's right? The Israelite way is like like uh, this uh, one of my favorite comedians, Corey Holcomb. He says it's like the two bears at the watering hole, right? They they both walk around each other like, look, man, mm -hmm. I'm only here to get water. Don't don't fuck with me. I won't fuck with you because bears understand that. Somebody can die if we fight. Right. Somebody can die. Or right? just get hurt. Or somebody yeah, get yeah. hurt, right? And and we we as Israelite men have lost the art of diplomacy. Mm. When you watch the movie The Godfather, right? That was the perfect example of that. You had these men from different uh families, mm -hmm. mom families, mm -hmm. that had to be diplomatic before a war started. Yeah. Yeah. Right? For all war start, there's always diplomacy. You can you hear you when you watch the movie Three Hundred, you see Leonidas and Xerxes get together and have a conversation. Was there animosity? Of course, but they didn't. They wasn't sitting there. What, what, nigga, what nigga? This my block, nigga. I, I, we was here first. You know what I mean? So so so, so what's good, nigga? Yeah, yeah, there wasn't. You know what I mean? There was there was. Yeah, yeah. What, what is now good? There was a there was a level of. Love. <laughs> there was a level of diplomacy, right? Even though Xerxes was a dickhead, right? And Leonidas had his pride about him, right? There was still a level of diplomacy, right? What did, what did Xerxes do? He sent the messenger first, right? Now Leonidas listened to his wife and kicked the nigga down the goddamn well, but but there was a the, the point is that there was a level of diplomacy first. There was a level of of calm demeanor yeah. before the aggression started. Terms. But Jake don't know nothing but what their moms did. Uh, good fellas. Yeah, like yeah. Before, before you want yep. to whack a made man, they had to do what? Let's like, sit down yep. first. Yeah. You yeah. had to sit down and... and, yeah. and Terms, had to, be, yeah. Terms yeah. had to be put across the yeah. table. It wasn't yeah. just emotionally... Yeah. Right. They, they would yeah. just sit there. Right. These hits were mapped out. It was decided. It was consequences. But and, and my man Pesci, right? He was he was an emotional character. Yeah. Yeah. And what happens to him in the end? Right. Yeah. He got killed. Consequence. Yeah. Right? Consequence. Because of his emotional uh, reaction to everything that happened to him, he died, man. He got killed. Yeah. He, he, he disobeyed. He got out of line. Yep. He said it. He broke a rule. He broke the rule. Yeah, you want to whack a man, a made man, you don't go off your emotions. You sit down, you have time. You said that, you brought that to me too. Like, you know, when you're dealing with your family, you know, before you, why you're mad, it's not good. And you hear that saying in the world, but you know, when you hear it from a brother and you actually apply mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. you're like, okay, something that happened, you're upset, let me not make a decision. Yeah, right. And you let them, yeah, and you sit on it, and it, it works. And, and the same thing goes for happiness too. Don't make a decision being happy either. Yeah. You ever notice when you're happy, you want to spend a whole bunch of money? Or if you, yeah. you say if you're hungry, you don't go grocery yeah, shopping. Yeah, 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 yeah. All kinds of random shit. Yeah, yeah. Take yeah. chips and yeah. juice. <laughs> <laughs> All kind of shit, right? Yeah. So it's, it's it, there's there's a level of of, of being even yeah. that you have to understand. Yeah, be. Being an Israelite, I was gonna say being a man of the Lord, but being an Israelite, these these things are the tenets of our culture. Discernment, man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's that's perfect. To serve. Come on, you gotta be somebody wise amongst you guys that be like, look, man, let this. We're not gonna do it like yeah. this. Let them have the corner. We'll go somewhere yeah. else for the day. Or yeah. let's not push this to, for Israel. Mm. Like right. be an example, right? You know, we're, even we're, even if that's what happened. Yep. Why are you putting it online? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Even yeah. if that's what you did, you yeah. okay? You had this dispute between each other, but you filmed it and then you put it online. Like, oh, we got it in the ass. Look how we got it in the yeah. ass. Look, yeah. look, look, look it up. Wait, that's what they about clickbait. They about yeah. 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 About yeah. propaganda. Yeah. That's yeah. why we call y'all the uh, uh, like a Christian Christianized Israelite mm. because y'all are y'all are for the broad. You know, GMS through the spirit is for the, the narrow, the straight. narrow, mm. the, straight. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the the raw truth for the mm -hmm. you, how you like it. If you don't like it. We ain't for catering for everybody. We ain't for the attention grabbing and yeah. all that bullshit. Hey, hey, it's hey, not so. a mistake that they call a woman the bro. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. it. Hey, it's not. It's not. That's not an accident. That's mm -hmm. it. Yep. If, I would say that if if they were more spiritual, they would understand yeah. to let the Lord fight their battles, man. Oh. You know, make the Lord make yeah, the decision that, because going into the the art of diplomacy, the art of diplomacy, ultimately the Lord's going to put the spirit on 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 the decision that's going to be made. 
in, in that diplomatic debate, man. Before yeah. anything happened, when you right. when you read about stories about uh, what's this? Uh, I want to say Haman, not Haman. Um, uh, when they went to, when we went to Ramoth Gilead. I haven't, I haven't read the story in a long time, but uh, there were, I think it's in Chronicles where he was. Uh, there was a the Lord, the Lord. Um, so who, 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 lion spirit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, would, I, would, I would be a lion spirit. He's the Lord. Said, How you gonna do it? There was a diplomacy that happened. Oh, okay, 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 right, there was right. a meeting that happened. Sit down, when you go to Job, the first chapter, Job, the second chapter, the sons of God, the sons of God came yeah. before the heavenly father. Came before there was diplomacy, right? Even between the most high and Satan. Right. Oh, have you considered my, you know what I mean? Right. Oh. It wasn't over. Right, right, right. Who's you at, Satan? Satan, Satan over there, they over there, tussling. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That shows that even happens a lot. That shows that happens before judgment as well. So the Lord said, He's not a respecter of person. Right. Because yeah. them guys doing that can also backfire on them and they can be made an example of through, through the most size judgment. Because right. they want not to do, you yeah, know? Right. Yeah, I got a piece of uh, Ro Romans 8, uh, verse 6. For to be carnally minded is death, mm -hmm. but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Mm -hmm. right. Because the carnal mind is in enmity right. against the most high. Right, the carnal mind is enmity with the most high. Why? Right. Uh, for it is not subject to the law of the most right, high. Right, right. Neither indeed can, can be. be. Right. When so you, when you're thinking carnally, crazy. it's hard for you to do yeah. spiritual things, man. Right. Right. Impossible. It's, right. it's impossible. Right. Like for instance, right? One of one of the most uh carnal things you, you that you can fight against is eating. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs to eat. That is the one that is the first uh uh uh, uh, uh weakness of your flesh that you learn. Mm -hmm. When you come out of the womb, after a few minutes, you're ready to eat, right? That is the first fleshly weakness, right? And you imagine that learning how to learning how to fight against that thing. When you the more you eat, you notice like when you're full, you don't want to do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to do anything, right? I was gonna say, you know, you don't. You, you, it's hard to get up and do a lesson. It's hard to um, pray. It's hard to be in the spirit because you got all you're in, inundated with all this poison and food, right? And this is another reason why Esau put that out there too, right? Mm -hmm. So it's impossible to be spiritual when your mind is set on carnal things. You now mm -hmm. you want us to believe that you're spiritual and we should listen to you, right? right. You yeah, know, it's heavy because you, it's like you bro, mm -hmm. you had um, King David, which was a man after the Heavenly Father's mm -hmm. heart, but the Most High didn't even allow him to build the temple, right? Because he had too much blood on right. his hands. Mm -hmm. He had dealt carnally his whole life, his yeah. whole his whole career had been the fighting of the other nations. From a child. From a child up. From a child. From a child up, his whole career had been the fighting of the other nations, which was the right thing to do. He was doing the right thing, but the Lord said, those two things don't mix. This house is a spiritual house, and, you, and you've you been colonel your whole career, right? And it wasn't until David's son, Solomon, who had a more spiritual life, uh, that he was able to build that temple, man, you know? And this is, and right now, what are we doing? We're building the temple. We're building the temple. And for us to, our hands gotta be clean, man. Well said. Our hands gotta be clean, man. We can't. The the fifth, and sometimes you, you do. That's the that's the fight, though. Sometimes you do want to grab a, a machete and just chop somebody's neck off, or coming up to the prophets and or, or shake somebody <laughs> up. Or, <laughs> hey, sometimes, or somebody, you might, sometimes you might even yeah. do it. But you know what I mean? But yeah. the case is, the, the, the thing, we got to have our hands clean. The Lord's yeah. looking for virgins if, when you come back. So I can, yeah. If I may add also, the, the, the name of the Heavenly Father means to exist. So, Correct. Um, you know, that, that being said, he's in everything. So if you're, if it's good to tell you that being spiritually minded is everything with the Heavenly Father. Oh, being carnal minded. Being carnal minded, right? That means that everything that you encounter in this world by you thinking carnally, you're always going to be in, in some sort of skirmish, man. Mm -hmm. You're always going to be in a fight against something. You're always going to be uh, uh, having to, uh, 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 what you call that, uh, 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 being, being in a bad spot, man, because you're, you're, you're hot headed. That's what they call hot headed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got a quick precept too. Um, this is uh, Ephesians 4:26. Be ye angry and sin not. Mm. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath, man. Mm. So you know you have to being spiritually being spiritual allows you to um, pretty much use the wisdom to discern um, from your emotions, man. You know, put your emotions aside, man. That's the fight, brother. That's, That's the, the you're right, man. This is why we always say, oh, you know, women like spirituality because what they they always think what 
with emotions, with their estrogen filled Carnally, in. They Carnally, they right, emotional. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, which is why, you know, if you had uh, like uh, somebody like Hillary Clinton in office, well, we, we always joke that they'll push the button in a, in a fight to, for that yeah. nuke right away because they, they, they don't think spirit, they, you know, they, they, there's no, uh, 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 there's no way in them to figure uh, out between right and wrong because they involve their emotions. Yeah, you you gotta it. take your emotions yeah. out of thing, man. Even if you're angry, you know, you still got to uh, uh, be spiritually minded and, and think soberly, you know, in, in making the right decision. That's a hard thing to do. And, you know, with that being said, that requires what? That requires uh, discipline. Yeah. Yeah. It requires yeah. discipline. Yeah. You know, the, you, you men are untrained, disciplined soldiers, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you are. Yeah. You know, if you, if you, you know, if for you, to, uh, um, how many times is the Lord's temple? You know what I'm saying? How many times? You, you ever see the Lord do, do some, some wickedness? You know, because the Lord was that ultimate example of uh, what discipline. Yeah, yeah I got to. If I may, I went quick, right? If you don't be careful, right? Your emotion will cloud your judgment. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what you were just uh, saying about Hillary Clinton being our president. Because like women by nature are emotional. When 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 you are emotional, guess what? You may end up being make the wrong, the wrong decision. You know, you may your yeah, judgment become cloudy. You know, that's exactly what it is. And that's we need exactly. in, in this time of judgment, we need clear conscience. We need yeah, that's right. your judgment. Man. We don't need nothing. Right, getting yeah. in the way that we need to make. Yeah. Chris, that's why Chris said knowledge and wisdom will be this type of thing. Because yeah. when things is going on around us, we're yeah. not reacting according to our emotions. We're reacting according to logic, and that's yeah. what's going to separate that's right. us from the rest of the world. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I got a piece of uh, Philippians two verse uh, thirteen. For it is for it is the Most High which worketh in you both to will and to do uh, of of His good pleasure. Do all things without murmuring and disputing. That he may be found blameless and harmless, the sons of the Most High, without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation. Yeah, that's the, who, hey, that's the, that's another flaw, of Jake. Murmuring, like you know what I mean. Somebody above you tell you something, and it's always, yeah. always got something to say about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always got something. This man, just do it. We in this position because it was a lot of niggas that didn't want to do what the hell they was supposed. They didn't want to do their part. It was somebody set over them, you know. Through the spirit, and it always was, it always had a second guessing and questioning Moses, you know, and and what well, so what it was, or just people that was over them. That means Father set men over us, man. You know, he told Ezra to go your way and find people that be like unto me. So Ezra is worried about all this. He's like, yo, so you got to think as a prophet, it's your job to find those men. You know, any prophet is gonna come across those men. And they're gonna cleave on to those men. They ain't gonna leave them, them men alone. They're gonna get that wisdom and they're gonna cleave on. They're gonna hold on, man. This is what this thing is about. The gathering up of the elect is about that. Finding men, likewise men, and, and you guys they staying around each other. You guys holding each other accountable, you know? I got one. It's uh, Matthew 5 and 48. It says, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven yep. is perfect. Yep. And I say that to say this, like Elder Adamo always say, be blameless, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And at this time, time like the brothers were going into, you know, our hands got to be clean. And Yahweh Shai came here to do a job, and he was found blameless in his doing so, you know, because he didn't, he didn't murmur towards the most high. When he told him to do something, he went ahead and followed him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, if you want to keep our hands clean, that's how we got to be. We got to be like our, our masters in heaven. You know? That's Taziyah, obey, right? Yeah, obey. Yeah. You know, it's, it's nothing to it. Just do it. Because in the end, you know, the, the, the book is going to give you life. It's not going to bring you death. Even if you do die, you conquered death right. already. That's right. So, you see? see? I got a precept too. Um, this is Acts 5.38. It says, And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. You know, and... and you know, one story that comes to mind too is, you know, when when the disciple heard, um, uh, it was uh, was it a couple of men, you know, preaching. Um, oh, we seen a man preaching. Yeah, we seen name. a man preaching in the name. What yeah, the Lord I said. The Lord said, "Yo, you know, if, they, if, us, if it be with us, you know, if, if they're, you know, with the cause, you leave know, alone. Leave, leave them alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it, like it, it shows that you know, if 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 they're doing if they're doing the right thing, oh, you know, that you know. They, they will give fruit to whatever they're doing. It ain't mm -hmm. crazy. You know what's crazy? Like, they, they don't go back and forth concerning doctrine. That's or y'all gonna go back and forth concerning the blood? Y'all ain't cursing them out for uh, coming in the name of Christ. 
Because yeah, yeah, yeah. occasionally you guys both do it, or, or certain type type of doctors and stuff like that. Yeah, if you go avoid each other, why are the concerning doctors? But y'all gonna see each other and, and claim each other's buck? That proves that y'all care more about the carnal than y'all do the spiritual, man. If y'all gonna be beefing about something, we beefing with somebody that's about the doctor. It's not gonna be about your garments or where you guys preach at. None of that. It's gonna be all spiritual, man. Go ahead, Exodus fourteen verse fourteen. The Lord shall fight for you, and he shall hold your peace. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's another thing too, man. Um, I'm also learning that most most people don't believe in what the scriptures say, man, because the scriptures say for us to depend on you know, the heavenly Father, man. The scriptures tell us um, what's that scripture? Uh, um, lean not into the own proverbs two, 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 two and seven. Two. Lean on to the own sins. What is it? Three and five. Three and five. Three and five. Yeah, hit me with that. Hit me. Hit me, uh, brother. Proverbs three verse five. Yeah. Uh, trust in the Lord with all thy heart, right. and lean not unto thy own understanding. Right. So if you trust in the Lord, matter of fact, do me a favor. Go to Second Peter two and nineteen. Somebody. Second Peter two and nineteen, and he reads a uh, a while he promised them liberty. They themselves are the servants of corruption, for whom made us overcome of the sin is be brought in, in bondage. Mm. For if what? after they have escaped the pollution of the world to the knowledge of Yahweh, the Lord, the mm -hmm. Savior, Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, I think it's First Peter uh, 2 and 19. Yeah. You want me to bring this out just real quick? Yeah, please. Uh, Proverbs yeah, 3, verse 5. Trust yeah. in the Lord with all thy heart yep. and lean not unto thy own understanding. Right, right. In all thy ways acknowledge him, right. and he shall direct In all thy, thy ways acknowledge him. Right? So you, 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 the righteous thing would have been, hey, man, y'all go ahead and take this block. And, and, and then go ahead and teach on another block. Take the law. That's what I was trying to get to here. Okay, that's right. Is it first Peter? Yeah, though? first Peter two verse nine says, yeah. For this is things worthy if a man yeah. for conscience toward the most high in right. grief, suffering or if a man for conscience towards the most high endure grief, endure grief suffering wrongfully. Suffering wrongfully, right? So maybe somebody did take your block. Maybe somebody did. But if you endure grief, right, suffering wrongfully, that's righteous for the most high. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Keep going. It says, uh, for what glory is it of right. if when you be buffeted for your fault, you shall take it patiently. Right. right. Wait, there, there's, there's nothing in getting beat up. If you if you if you did something wrong, you're supposed to get beat up. Yeah. Right? Go ahead. But if when you do well and suffer for it, right. you take it patiently. Right. This is acceptable with your how about right. right. And I and, and, and I, I really believe that people don't read these scriptures, bro. Not just this one, but the scriptures. That's what, I'm what do you? I mean, just say, because my, I, I, you, whenever these types of situations happen, I always say, "Damn, what I have done?" And the conclusion happened to be like, I mean, what, what the fuck is in the block? As long as the Lord has allowed me to teach, because at the end of the day, teaching is my my chance to get out of here. Mm -hmm. Being on the highways and byways, being uh, in these classroom settings, yeah. this is a chance. For me to make it. Mm -hmm. So wherever I'm going to teach, wherever the Lord allows me to teach, I'm going to teach. Yeah. If, if I'm not supposed to be on that block, if, I'm, if I get taken off the block, I, I, I'm going to have to concede yeah, and go somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's about what the Heavenly Father is allowed. Like, this is a gift. Yeah. Being able to teach the word, being able to be in a level of understanding is a gift to us. Right. We, we're not obligated to this truth. And what I mean is, it's not it's not promised to us. Nope. The only thing that's promised to us is the chance, the opportunity. And if this is if this is a gift, then I, I wherever wherever I gotta go, I'll teach it. You know, where if, if okay, fine. We've had times where uh, what's this other group here? The one that says a higher They they they've come to the corners we've been on. Right. At the same time. Now we went, of course, and, and debated the scriptures with them. But when, uh, if you want to teach in this point of whatever, uh, I mean, what, are you, what are you gonna do? No, what are you gonna do? No, you gonna you gonna, you gonna fight with them? You ready to fight them? Taking your corner? No, nothing. Defend the gospel. Not your corner. 
No. <laughs> this is, um, this is uh, James 1. I'm going to start at verse 19. Read yeah. down. It says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, yeah. and slow to wrath. Yeah. For the wrath of a man worketh not the righteousness of right. the Most High. The wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of the Most High. It's very simple. Just read the scriptures, man. The scriptures tell us what we need to do and how we need to behave ourselves. Mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're doing anything outside of what the scriptures say, you're acting like a girl. Quite frankly. Mm -hmm. Girls talk about, oh, she got the same outfit as I got on. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we was we was we was at this table, bitch. Mm -hmm. You know, all that shit. All that goofy <laughs> shit. You know, that, you know, you know why it's funny? Because you, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Hey, no, them bitches didn't take our table. We just went to the bathroom for a minute. It's petty. Yeah, just, just weird old girl shit. We was here first. I haven't said I haven't said I was here first since like third grade. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah no budging. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, come on, man. I yeah, think this is crazy. Uh, this is uh, verse twenty-one. Going back to the point that you had mentioned. This is yeah. Wait for lay apart, lay apart all Most filthiness, filthiness and superfluity, and naughtiness. Somebody look up that word superfluity. It's a good word. And receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. This word is going to save us, man. So wherever I got to go, I'm going to teach it, man. If I got to go down to uh, Mass Ave Mom, I don't want them. I don't want them. But if that's where I got to be at, that's where the Lord got me. That's where I'm going to be at, man. It's Boston Skid Row, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. But it also says, receive with meekness. Yes. Yeah, receive with meekness. Yeah. You want it to humble, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that comes with all, like you said, applying the scriptures to your, to your life, man. For sure. You know? Yeah. And this is all, uh, continue on, it says, verse 22, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Right. Be, ye, your own self. be ye doers of the word, man. And I feel like... What ISUPK and IUIC when they go out on the highways and byways, they just teach they just teach the superficial things. Mm -hmm. We're Israelites. Where your fringes and your borders of blue. The they only scratching the surface. You're not you're not becoming what the scriptures are. Right. Hey, they were fighting over blood. Ain't none of them gonna be there. None of them was there probably a couple months ago. Right. right. Where was that last in February? Oh yeah, good point. In January. No, I'm serious. Right. Right. Was y'all out like you know what I'm saying? Was y'all out there? Y'all yeah. don't really want it, man. Right. If y'all really wanted it, y'all would have been out there the whole damn all year. Right. That's right. You know, you, you want to get out. You know what I mean? Was hibernating. The weather, yeah, the weather <laughs> spring up. A bunch of butterflies. It's called uh, <laughs> what's it called? The, the groundhog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now y'all going. Watch your news, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like gonna be sixty yeah. degrees this week. Yeah. 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 Ye
you see, you should not vex them, man. Mm. You know, you should pro uh, provide the proper accommodation. You you want to, you know, take all, all the law. All, all, I'm going to say this for a discount for you, Scarfield. All GMS is beef, every last one of them was all stri strictly doctrine. Mm. It never was over anything other than no doctrine. It was never personal. They made it personal. Yeah. They made it personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they were rapists. Right. And yeah, that was because of what? The doctrine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, I got a precept as well. Yeah. Uh, Romans 12, verse 2. Uh, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that is good mm -hmm. and acceptable and perfect, the will of the Most High. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah come on. Um, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 5. I'm going to start at verse 6. It says, Your glory is not, is not good. Mm -hmm. Know ye not that a little leaven leaveneth leaven the, the whole lump. lump. Purge out therefore the old that, leaven. That's another thing, too. A lot of these camps, they, they think of themselves as separate from each other. I, I, we're all Israelites, man. There's, there, there's different schools of thought. There's different doctrine. But we're all Israelites at the end of the day, man. And like the Lord said, the, 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 the apostles came and they was like, Yo, there's somebody over there that teaching in your name, Lord. Okay. Like, Look, man, let them do it. Luke 9 and 50. Yeah. Purge out therefore the old leaven, yeah. that ye may be a new lump, yeah. as, ye are, as ye are unleavened. Yeah. For even Hamashiach, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. That's right. Therefore, yeah. let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, not neither with, old leaven, neither neither with what you was in the world. That's man. right. So, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness. Yeah, leaven, that's what the leaven is wickedness, mm -hmm. man. But with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. That's right. Man. Anybody else got anything? Yeah. All right. So with that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, 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 honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Honor and salutation with the hopeful elect. And with that, we say shalom. Shalom.